19 Simple Psychological Tricks That Actually Work There are all kinds of fancy books on neuro-linguistic programming and psychology that can help professionals get what they want from others. But there are also much simpler, yet just as effective methods that anyone can use on a daily basis. Here are 19 of them. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to join us on the Bright Side of Life. 1. Never start your request with the words, could you? It can cause the other person to subconsciously assume that this is a theoretical question. For example, avoid questions like, could you call the neighbors? Because the answer yes can mean, yes, I theoretically could, but I didn't agree to it. Sure, could is polite, but it's better to rephrase your request to, please call the neighbors, if you want to be sure that it'll be fulfilled. Two. If you ever want to make someone feel uncomfortable, look at the middle of their forehead during the conversation. Most people say it makes them feel like they're under scrutiny, which, of course, doesn't exactly make a person relaxed. Not sure why you'd want to do this to others, but who knows, the situation may arise. 3. If someone you're talking to is trying to avoid answering a question, just make a pause in the conversation while still keeping eye contact. They'll feel uncomfortable and, thus, will keep talking. Chances are they'll give you more details about the issue you're interested in. They may even start telling you the truth, if they were lying, since they'll believe that your silence and your look are signs that you already know the real facts. 4. Let's say you've started a new job or school. If you want someone in the office or class to like you, just ask them to explain something to you. It doesn't matter if you know the answer or not. This will improve the other person's overall attitude towards you and earn you some extra brownie points. 5. When asking a question that you want an affirmative answer to, try to nod subtly as you make your request. This trick is often used by restaurant employees to make guests buy more food, and it's pretty effective. 6. If a person is really concentrated on a task, Let's say they're in the middle of a serious phone conversation. You can extend your hand to them and get anything they're holding at the moment. They might not even remember later on. The trick works the other way around, too. You can give them something as you're talking to them, and they won't even notice. Pretty helpful when you're cleaning up or moving to a new house. 7. If you want somebody to do something for you, casually say how they probably wouldn't even be able to do it. Most people will try really hard to prove someone wrong when it comes to doubting their capabilities. You can also make a small or unusual request before getting down to the main issue. In this case, you'll establish a connection with the person so they probably won't have the heart to turn you down afterwards. 8. Just like with questions you need to get an affirmative answer to, start nodding just a little bit during a conversation. Interestingly enough, this will make the person you're talking to more attentive to your words, and they won't even realize why. 9. Here's a good one for negotiations. If you like a person's offer in general, but would like to get better conditions, prepare to be a little bit disappointed. This method can work like magic with a high price or a low salary. 10. As soon as your alarm clock goes off, sit up, make two fists, and yell, yeah! as if you're a soccer player who's just scored a goal. It sounds bizarre, but it really does help you easily get out of bed feeling refreshed. Just try it for yourself and let us know down in the comments if it worked for you. 11. If you're always worried whether or not you locked the door or turned your iron off, just say some absolutely absurd phrase when you're doing these things. The phrase could be different every single day. For example, you say green rabbit and turn the iron off, or oppressive crab and lock the door. The next time you start doubting whether or not you did something, you'll remember saying this weird phrase, and it'll calm you down. 12. If a person tries to pull you into an argument or some kind of drama, say something nice to them. The old kill them with kindness trick really does stop them in their tracks. Another technique is to keep your calm and remain silent. There's nothing more irritating than being ignored. However, if you're trying to avoid an argument with your friend or partner, try to put yourself in their shoes. This can help you understand if there's some point in their objections that you're missing. 13. If you have that one lazy person on your team that slows the whole work process down, don't give them tasks by saying, do this. It's better to say, start with this. 
psychologically, it'll seem like there's less work because, according to this phrase, they should start with something small. After they've done the first task, use the words, very good. Now, continue with this until they end up finishing what you wanted them to do in the first place. 14. If you have to speak in public, don't forget to take a bottle of water with you. First of all, you'll need it since your nerves will make your mouth feel like the Sahara Desert. Plus, you can take a pause to sip some water in order to remember a part of your speech that slipped your mind. The audience will never know. And if you feel too anxious to speak in front of a large crowd, admit this fact to the audience right away. It lightens the mood, calms your nerves, and it makes your listeners feel more sympathetic since most of them can probably relate. 15. If someone is staring at you in the subway, happens all too often, right? Just look at their shoes. Don't give up. Keep gazing. It'll drive them crazy. 16. If you seem really worried each time you see someone you know, in the end, this person will also start feeling worried every time they see you. So, do with that information what you will. 17. If someone has done something wrong, but you don't want to sound too accusing, change the way you construct your sentences. For example, instead of saying, you didn't close the window before you left, you can say, the window was left open all night. They'll learn from their mistake, and you won't seem like a meanie pointing the finger. 18. If you didn't get a good night's sleep, tell yourself that you did. I know, it sounds like nonsense, but it does work 100% if you say it with meaning. Scientists from Colorado College published a study in the Journal of Experimental Psychology in which they found that if you genuinely believe that you're well-rested even if you're not, your brain does function better. 19. People are better at remembering what happened at the beginning and end of the day. As for anything that went on in between, it gets blurry. This is a great tip when it comes to job interviews. Agree to a time that's either at the start of the workday or at the end of it. This way, the employer will remember you among all the other candidates. Do you know any other effective tricks that can help you get what you want? Share your experience in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.